Hi guys, it's Paula and I hope you are doing well. Today is the end of round one of Love It or Lose It and the beginning of round two. I am posting this one day early because I have another update on the 15th and it's just easier to post one video a day versus two. So I hope that's okay. This project was created by my friend Hafina. Her channel will be linked down below and She's a member of the Geeks and Beauties Facebook group and she created this project in order for us to take a look at what we have with a fresh set of eyes and decide if it was something that we wanted to continue to love or if we would rather lose it or donate it or trash it or whatever. And for me, I decided to start working on my clothing. So I am picking five articles of clothing a month to put on my body because I am a creature of habit and I tend to wear the same things over and over and over until the season changes and then I pick a new small set of things to wear over and over again. So I am looking at these clothes that never get chosen, never go into rotation, putting them on my body, seeing how they feel, seeing if they still fit, seeing if I like them and deciding whether they stay or go. All right, so last month I chose five shirts from my closet that I hadn't worn in years. And I gave myself the challenge of putting them on and deciding if I wanted to keep them or let them go. Three are staying, two are going. And I'm really happy about that. I'm glad that three of them still fit and I like and I can enjoy. And the two that don't fit or I don't enjoy anymore, I'm glad that they'll be going to somebody who maybe can use them because they will be getting donated. So let's take it from the top. The first shirt I had tried on is this one right here. It is from a brand called Access, which I believe is or was sold at Kohl's and it's a size small. I am not a size small. I believe this was gifted to me by a friend. The problem wasn't the size though. There's plenty of room. Um, I'm gonna show you a clip of me wearing this and I believe I discussed kind of the shortcomings of the shirt in that video. So I'm gonna play that right now. Okay, so this is the first shirt that I'm wearing out of the bunch and it is so comfortable. It is so comfy, but I do not think it is doing anything for my figure. Um, I'm gonna back up a little so you can see the whole look. I have these like shredded pants from the loft. I've had them for like, I don't know, 10 years or something, I love them. But um, I was worried that this was gonna be the case, and it is, this just makes it, this does nothing for my figure. It looks like a tent, it's comfy, the material is so soft, but I just think it makes me look a size or two larger than I actually am. Um, yeah, I don't like the way it looks. I love these details right here. Um, on my shoulder. I also don't think the color is extremely flattering on me. I love gray, but I think it would have been cuter if it was like a military green color than this gray with this like, I don't know. This one is going to be lost. I actually think it looks even worse on film than it does like when I'm looking in the mirror. I think it looks horrible. So yeah, I'm gonna lose this one. All right, on to the next day. So clearly this is going to be donated. It's too bad that this was such a comfortable shirt to wear. It just didn't look good on me. At least I felt like it didn't. And so yeah, this one's gonna get donated and it's out of here. The next shirt I tried on was this one from Target. It's a Marona brand. And this also is a size medium. It's funny because if I'm buying shirts today, I'm always gonna get a large. I really consider myself a size large over a medium. But since I already have these shirts, I have to see if I can make them work, if they're horribly fitting or what. So this is a size medium. And I am gonna show you a clip of me wearing this one right now. So here is the next shirt that I am wearing. I wore this all day at work today. I really like it. It's a medium. Um, these days I tend to buy larges and not mediums, but I think this fits okay. It's not like, it's not the best, not the worst, but I really liked wearing this today. It was super comfortable. This is the one from Target with the little shabby roses on it, which I think is so cute. 
and I love the like green heathered color of it. So this is a keeper. This was not the shirt that I was intending to wear today. I had picked out this tank top to wear today and it actually looked so bad on me that I just took it off. I am gonna try it on for you guys so you can see how bad it looks on me. It's too bad, you guys know I love this design on it and I love the color, but um, it's gonna be a no. So I'm gonna try that on right now so you can see how bad it looks on me. So as you can tell from the video, this is gonna be uh, love it, I'm gonna keep it. And I do hope to continue losing weight. I have been working on my weight loss for quite a while, and I think this will look even better if I can lose five pounds, but I'm keeping it anyways, because I will wear it even if I don't lose the five pounds. Okay, up next was this tank top from New York and Company. I've had this forever. I've had this for so long, and I just don't wear it often. And you will see in the clip, that this was a total fail. This was the only shirt I did not leave the house in. I immediately took it off and put on another shirt because it just wasn't working for me that day. So I'm gonna show the clip of this right now. Okay, this is horrible. I hate the way this looks on me. I feel like a stuffed sausage. This is showing off every imperfection on my body, um, including my belly button. You can literally see my belly button obviously it's a little too tight um maybe a large would have fit better but i don't have a large i have this one i'm also not crazy about this top part um it is really wide here and so the shoulder straps are sitting way out i would like them to be like more in line with my bra i just know that if i wore this during the day my bra strap would be constantly hanging out it's a little bit low for work um, yeah, I'm, I'm really glad I tried this on today because I'm not going to miss this once it's gone. It looks so cute hanging up in my closet, but it is doing me and my belly button no favors. So that means two shirts are gone. I have two more to try on. So this shirt will be donated as well. It is a lose it. So next I tried this shirt on. This is a loft shirt in the size medium and here's the clip of me wearing that okay so i feel like there are some pros and cons going on here that are making me feel a little bit torn and i think the main issue is that i am like five pounds away from this outfit working but it doesn't really work today but it's not so far off that like I shouldn't consider keeping it for when I lose those five pounds. Like those that those words are the kiss of death. But honestly, these pants are just a little too tight around the waist. So it gives me like a little bit of a muffin top. And then the shirt is like a little bit too tight and too thin. So it shows off the muffin top and my, my pants waistline. But dang it, this shirt is so stinking cute. It's a little bit low for me. I'm not used to showing that much chest, but I don't even care. I just love this detail so much on this shirt. It is so cute. I think I'm going to keep it, um, at least for now, because I gained, uh, five pounds over the, like over the last six weeks. And I want to see if I can lose that because I'm back on the diet. I'm back on the keto. So yeah, I don't want to give this shirt up yet. I'm going to keep it because I really like it, but it's a little bit snug. And this love handle right here is all I can see when I look in the mirror. Here, I'll suck it in. Oh, there we go. Yes. Yes, it fits perfectly. Oh, no, it doesn't. All right, I'm keeping it for now. So yeah, this is a keeper. I'm gonna keep it uh, and wear it, hopefully. And finally, the fifth shirt is a shirt I have been wearing throughout this video. I've been wearing throughout this video. And this was the one in the intro video that had stains on it. I have stains on it again, but they're new stains. Um, that is the frustrating problem with this shirt. It, it If I spill water, it leaves a stain anything and it will wash out immediately but for the rest of the day like let's say I eat 
lunch or have a snack or drink coffee at eight in the morning, I will have a stain on this shirt all day long, which is really unfortunate. I'm probably gonna have to start carrying around one of those like Tide pens with me when I wear this shirt, although I don't know if that's gonna help because that will probably leave a stain too until I wash it. But I absolutely love the way this shirt fits on me. Um, and so I'm willing to put up with it for now because I think this is so cute and I just love this shirt. So um, I'm gonna love it for a little bit longer unless those stains just start driving me crazy and I can't take it anymore. All right, so that's the result of round one. Three are staying, two are going. I have pulled five new shirts, new old shirts, to work on for the next month, to wear, to see how they fit, to see how they feel, and to see if I'm going to love them or lose them. So I'm gonna get them right now and show them to you guys. This is the first one right here. It's an Eddie Bauer size medium. It's green. I do love the color green. I think I used to love it more than I love it now. And it's kind of one of those like peasant tops. It's very low cut right here, so I'm gonna to have to wear like a camisole underneath it, not just a bra. And it's pretty thin. I am noticing that a lot of these shirts are very thin, which is very frustrating. But um, yeah, so that's the first one. Here's the second one. It's from a brand called Eloise and it's a size medium. I think I bought this shirt maybe at Anthropology a few years ago or 10. <laughs> and it's basically just a kind of dressed up t-shirt with a pocket. It's a dark gray and I haven't worn it in a long time. So story of my life. I'm gonna put that one on my body and see how it fits. Okay, I have another Morona shirt from Target. This is a size medium. This is stunning. Oh my gosh. Look at that, isn't that so cute? And it's a nice kind of cool tone gray color. Just a decorative t-shirt. Okay, these last two shirts are both hand-me-down shirts from a friend. I did not buy them. And this one is the brand UK Style French Connection and it's actually an extra small, if you can see that right there. I have not personally been an extra small since like high school, but there's something about this shirt that I feel like maybe I can wear, I don't know. The tag is still on it. Obviously the friend who handed it down to me never wore it. I don't know if it was gifted to her. If this shirt did not have these decorative like capped sleeves, I would have just never kept it, never worn it, let it go. But these sleeves are just so stunning. It's beaded and oh my gosh, it's why I wanna wear this shirt so bad. So I am gonna try it on and see if there's any way I can fit into an extra small and see, and if not, it's going because I can't love a shirt that I'm never gonna fit into, right? Right. Okay, and finally, here is the last shirt. This is was given to me by the same friend. She goes to her closet and does like a major purge every so often and a couple bags come to me. And this is one of the shirts and I think it's so cute, but I've never worn it or I haven't worn it in years. I don't know if I've ever worn it and if I have, it's been a long time. So yeah, time to put it on my body. See how it fits. It's from a brand called Deluxe LA Blues and it is also a size medium. Lots of mediums, even though I consider myself a size large so yeah so that is it for this round of love it or lose it I will meet you guys back here on the 14th of October and let you know how those five shirts worked out and show you the next round of items I have chosen thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video bye